Hello, and welcome to the Intro to Tyke API series. My name is Gia, I'm a Solutions Architect with Tyke, and I will be your host for the series. In this video, I will be taking you through the components and features of Tyke, as well as introducing some of the common architectures for deployment. Further in this series, we will also be going over how to install Tyke, creating your first API, as well as performing a deep dive into some of the more advanced features and plugins. Feel free to click on the links in the video, or check out the description to skip ahead. Let's get started. These are the components and features of Tyke. On the left-hand side, you will see the API Gateway. It's written in Go and super performant. It's free, open source, and always will be. We don't tier our gateways, meaning that our open source users are running the same gateways as our enterprise partners. Those of you who are keen on security will love this, as the code is completely open for auditing and evaluation. Gateway features out of the box include access control, rate limiting and quotas, analytics gathering, and support for custom middleware in Go, Python, JavaScript, Lua, or any gRPC supported language. It can be scaled both horizontally and vertically. As powerful as the gateway is, however, it is headless and must be managed through the gateway APIs. This is where the license component comes in. On the right hand side, you'll notice that with the licensed version of Tyke, you get the dashboard and the developer portal. In addition to the GUI, the dashboard APIs provide a programmatic way for you to manage your gateways making them easier to scale, providing role-based access control, the ability to document your APIs, publication and monetization, and so much more. We offer our customers the flexibility to deploy Tyke in a variety of configurations. Should you choose to go with self-managed, Tyke is cloud native, which means one can install Tyke on bare metal or any cloud provider. Tyke offers true hybrid deployments where the customer can choose to manage the gateways and delegate the control plane orchestration to Tyke. And finally, for those looking for a fully managed solution, we offer Tyke Cloud as a SaaS. Here is our architecture for a single region on-premise installation. At the top, you'll notice that the API developers and API owners interact with the dashboard and portal to configure the gateway. The gateway itself has only one dependency, which is Redis. We use Redis to store things such as tokens, OAuth clients, as well as leverage it to perform things such as caching, rate limiting, and temporary analytics storage. Our dashboard has only one dependency, which is MongoDB. This database is where our long-lived API definitions and API policies live. In the middle here, we have an open source component known as Tyke Pump, which is appropriately named for its ability to pump analytics from Redis to MongoDB or a SQL database. I will mention that if you're deploying on a cloud provider, you can swap out Redis and MongoDB out for managed services such as ElastiCache and DocumentDB on AWS, or memory store and Atlas DB on GCP. MongoDB isn't the only backend we support for analytics. We have a variety of connectors that we integrate with natively. Some of these include StatsD, Logs.io, Grafana, Prometheus, Datadog, and the list goes on. Check out our GitHub for an up-to-date list of all the supported backends. Moving back to architecture, multi-region on-premise is where we position our enterprise offering. Using our multi-data center bridge, or MDCB for short, we allow customers to manage gateways through a single pane of glass in either the same region or separate regions. Our definition of regions is synonymous with those of cloud providers. For example, in AWS, US East 1 and US East 2 are separate regions. You'll notice that there are Redis instances located next to the edge gateways. These instances are completely ephemeral. They receive all updates from the primary Redis through a pub-sub pattern and can operate even if the master control plane goes down. Moving on to a hybrid deployment, you'll notice that Tyke manages the control plane. This means that the customer only needs to manage the gateways and their corresponding ephemeral Redis instances. Please note that the geographic load balancers here are completely optional. You'll also notice that this architecture is flexible enough to allow for edge deployments within Tyke Cloud. And that ties into those who are looking for a fully managed solution. In this instance, we manage everything except for your backend services. For those who are deploying using Kubernetes, you'll be happy to know that we follow the operator pattern. Tyke operator brings full lifecycle API management to Kubernetes. You can configure your ingress, APIs, security policies, authentication, authorization, and so much more, all using GitOps best practices with custom resource definitions and Kubernetes native primitives. Our Helm charts can be used to deploy Tyke gateways in both hybrid or self-managed configurations. Now that you have an idea of the capabilities and flavors of Tyke, let me take you through an end-to-end -end example. 
from installing Tyke to taking a created API to consumption and publication. See you in the next video.